the issue of the Sheikh Gume, some state governors, especially from the north, disagree with him. Issue of the making peace with the bandit. What is your take about that? Uh, Sheikh Gumi's statement is uh, is over highly misguided. It's a reckless talk. It's not Lego. It is bloody. It's uh, just like accepting blood to be wasted, to waste blood across the whole country. It is it is it is an act of terrorism. That statement can invite more terror group from other parts of Africa to invade Nigeria. Because once they come to Nigeria, they will give them amnesty. Listen, Nigerians, Nigeria as a country is taming. Hesmen, third, deadliest terror attack in the world. United Nations has pro proscribed Hesmen. EU has proscribed Hesmen. America has proscribed Hesmen. Can Christian Association of Nigeria, as far as I'm concerned, we have proscribed Hesmen. Do you know how many Reverend Father that were killed in 2017, 2018, 19, and date, till date? Attacked by Hesmen, Enugu, Benue, Adamawa. So Gumi's, check Gumi's atta, uh, war, uh, statement, plead, appeal to pay Hesmen amnesty is an abominable act. It's an abomination. Hesmen are terrorists. Hesmen are raping Nigerian women. Farmers in Nigeria today cannot go to farm because of Hesmen. And we are telling government to pay them amnesty. Gumi Cheik Gumi is, an, is a terrorist. They should arrest him now and try him. They shouldn't arrest him by Nigeria government because they are the cabals we are talking about. He's an associate of Buhari, Mohammed Buhari. I invite ICC to send their, their, their agents to arrest Sheikh Gumi and try him in Netherlands, International Criminal Court. He is saying he, Sheikh, Sheikh Hussani Garubabi, what is his name? Garba, Garba Chehu. They, 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 are, they have messed Nigeria by what come out from their mouths every day. They give Nigeria wrong information, Nigerians wrong information. They terrorize every citizen of this country by their statements. It is an act of terrorism to appeal the federal government for amnesty disbursement to the Hesmen. Why should that be? We don't have people like OBJ anymore. We don't have people like Mbazuli Kameche anymore. As if, uh, we don't have great elderly statesmen in Nigeria. Statesmen, they are all dead. As far as I'm concerned, they are dead. Shoinka is just talking blah, 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 blah. There's nobody listening to Shoinka because that one is a different person. Now, literary giant. He's not a politician. But look at OBJ. Nobody's paying attention anymore. Nzeribe is gone. Zeke died how many years ago? Juku is no more. So the country is just left for the Fulani to mess the whole Nigeria and get back and go scot-free. The Fulani are messing Nigeria and are getting scot-free. How do you expect us to pay? Nigeria federal government to pay, to pay amnesty to Hesmen. That, that keep on raping and killing on daily basis. Look at Ibadan, look at uh, uh, Akure, look at Abeokuta, look at Ganga, Ganga communities and Abarekpa. Look at Enugu communities. They are no longer going to farm. Look at Benue. Let me tell you, this year, this year, hunger, eh? hunger, in, in fact, is famine. Nigeria is going to witness not hunger, but famine. That they should be giving amnesty. What do you also take about it? Yeah, uh, what? To me, amnesty should not be given to to uh, to the uh, full and estimate, most especially the one that kills. Because if you, because to me, I be, because the victims, they, they, what government, what have they done to the victims? The, the, the one full and estimate has killed. They've done nothing to them. I think those people should be the one government should have concern about and do away with. Uh, uh, what is it called? The amnesty given to they want to give to to uh, to the killers because to me a killer will always be a killer uh -huh. because once that money is not coming forth they will still go back to the bush and start making havoc in the in the country because you can't compare 
Amnesty, the one they gave to uh, Niger Delta with with uh, the the Fulani men. So it's different entirely. These people that kill us, why Niger Delta they are asking for their rights. So I think that is the difference. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, sir. Thank you, sir. The issue of uh, the insurgents. Some of the some some people are glamouring that they should give them amnesty. Amnesty. Give them, uh, you know, what do you think about what's your take about it, sir? No, no, no. To me, giving amnesty to insurgent is an error of the IS order. The meaning we are supporting insurgents. So and that we increase the number of hostility in the country. Because definitely other groups will rise up. As they said, the government will not do them anything. So they should be tagged as terrorists against the sovereign state of Nigeria. So anybody caught should be sentenced to death because it's an offense against the unity of this country. It endanger the existence of this nation. Don't you think that that we, we put more fire no, into the crisis that we are having in the country. Let's assume the government didn't uh, rise to like support them, to give them whatever they requested for, that is for peace to reign in the country. Don't you think that we give more crisis way? We give more killings. We allow them to kill more people. We allow them to steal more people. We allow them to kidnap more people. And yeah, 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 of course, the government doesn't have an excuse for not taking drastic action against insurgents. So the government has every weapon to stop the, the, the insurgents from terrorizing this country. So if government decide to to sub, to I mean to to succumb to their request, it means the government has failed. Uh, uh, they has failed Nigeria. Look at America. You dare not. It's a crime against the nation. So every anybody any group that indulge in it. They should be tagged as terrorists, and the, the, the punishment is death or life sentence. There come Shegumi. Yeah. For God's sake, how did this guy get to them? That is the big question. How did he get? How did he get to know them? Didn't know them. I was told that he went into the forest. Yes. <laughs> Harmless. Where are our people? Where are the police? Where are the intelligence? How did he get there? How does he get there? And the funniest thing, the man said he went there, he came out, and he was negotiating with government, and government was helpless, they were tired. You should have caught this man and said, look, in a normal setting, you should have arrested him and said, why do you get there? Who did you negotiate with? Hmm. Who sent you message? For God's sake, is it the state that sent you? Is it local government? Is it the federal government that sent you? Forget about where you are, you are religious leaders. I don't want to care. We are talking about the security of a, of a whole country. And somebody will tell me, a civilian, harmless. We go to that bush in that forest and tell me, yes, I've negotiated, give them an amnesty to the bandits. You don't negotiate with bandits, you don't. I like I said, no, I cannot negotiate with bandits. You can't. Because remember, some governors negotiated. Yes, yes, they did. And a ransom was paid at the back. But what happened? They went back. After collecting, collecting their own share, their own national cake, they said, look at the fools. They went back and started again. So you don't, it's, it's, it's total, you have to, to total eradication of, band, they are bandits. They are, they are not, they are not supposed to exist. You don't, you don't negotiate with cr criminals. It's as if arm robbers come to my house after robbing me. He now said, okay, I'm going to give you my, my property back. Come and negotiate with me after you have robbed me. So I now start to negotiate, okay, give me my property. Okay, go and bring something. It is wrong. It's as you go to the, okay, if you don't want to negotiate with the bandit, why don't you go and negotiate with Boko Haram? Or go and negotiate with Hellsmen? You don't, look, a, 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 a government that is serious doesn't negotiate with bandits. You, you total root, you root them out. If you start negotiating, don't mind you, some people are there back. If you, one set goes, another person will come and say, so what are we saying? Ah, I'm tired of this government. The government is so, so slow. I'm sorry they call him about ghost law. The ghost law is now exhibiting itself. And those who are surrounded, who, 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 who surrounded by him will not tell him to. Because they, they, you know, I, some people say there are something like uh, emotional 
attachments to it. They say they are full learning, the president is full learning. For God's sake, this president is not the president of the full is He's the federal, president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And he's sworn to the constitution that he's going to uphold the constitution and not the full -anist. I don't believe the president has a had the sympathy same same for the flag. I don't believe it. What he is doing is that he's so slow. And those who are surrounded, surrounded the so the so-called kitchen cabinet, they are not telling him the truth. They are not telling him the truth. They should go all out. If they are going to employ the police, employ, give them gadgets. They have drones. They have a lot of things they can use to wipe them down. If now, do you know what? This government is pretending that they are in control. This, we need international committee to come in. Don't 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 let pretend as if we know everything. No, we don't. Yeah. Even US still look for the Israelis, the Italians to come and yes. to help them. Let them let them look at those experts in this field. They will do they do a clean job for us. Yeah. Remember Nigeria has been going to Ecomo. Yes. And they win the world countries. Yes. We went to Liberia, remember? Yes. yes. We went to Sudan and we did a very nice job. Yes. If Liberia can do it then alone, they will not call for ECOMOC then. So let us call the, inter the expert to come and help us. We don't pretend as if we are, hell we are island on our own. And if, for the issue of uh, Gumi, I think Gumi should be arrested. That is my opinion. I myself, I'm totally against the Sheikh. It is not a good idea. No, by the time you gave them money now, you said to them, another group of people in the nearest future, they will rise up again and begin to fight the government. Because they know that they, at the end of the day, Government will call them, negotiate with them, and give them money. So, you know, in Nigeria will just become an, you know, indirect ATM to some hoodlums. If you settle them now, and, 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 and the, another set of people will, you know, they, they will come up next time. Either, either in, the, in the north, in the south, or in the, in the south, south. They will come again because they know that at the end of the day, when the, when the government, you know, outside that they are traveling too much, and they cannot continue you know, contend with them, they, they will call them for negotiation in the name of amnesty and amnesty, and they will give them money. So it is a way of, of enriching some, you know, some, you know, some riffraff in this country.